And action! We're gonna test for spark now, since we know we have fuel, correct fuel pressure. Between 31 and 35 is acceptable, we've got around 35. All the way through cranking. Now, to test for spark, we are, because I'm suspecting it's a crankshaft position sensor, but I don't know yet. So I've got this nifty little uh, spark light tester. And traditionally, I used to just use a screwdriver and stay it close to the block and check for spark that way, but this is safer. Um, it's three bucks from Harbor Freight, so it's not a big deal. All we gotta do is put this in between one of the spark plugs. I'm just gonna pull the, I believe this is five. That's six, I think this is five. I'm gonna pull that, because it's pretty straight. And we're gonna take that off. And what we're gonna do is I will shove this guy, this end. So now we're in there. And then we're gonna get this on the block, or on the spark plug that goes to the engine. And then Close enough. Okay, so now this is gonna light up. That piece in the middle is gonna light up, assuming we have spark. So I'm gonna shut the light off and I'll crank the engine and uh, I'll have the camera on there for you. So just look, make sure you can see that thing. And we're looking for like a light, it's gonna flash. Every so often once I crank this. what you want. Okay, here is a crankshaft position sensor. This, I believe, is off a of 93. I got it a few years ago. Not too sure. Uh, this is a 93 that we have here, but it's the same style, so it's fine. This is what we're looking for. Now, what we want to do to test it is we need to test across B and C terminals. So if you look down in here, if you look in there, when you've got this little pointer, um, deal sticking up, B and C will be the, it's gonna go A, B, C. So B and C are the far right two terminals. So A, B, C. A on this side, B in the middle, C on that side. We need to test across B and C for resistance. So how we're gonna do that, this is just the one I have that I might replace it with, but we're gonna test with multimeter for resistance. So right now, I'm testing for resistance. I have it set to make a sound when I've got resistance. So what we're going to do is just no resistance, zero. Basically, when you touch them together, there's resistance. We don't want to see any resistance between B and C. So since it's kind of hard to get in there, I have an alligator clip all the way on the C term, the C pin on the far right-hand side. And now I am going to attach that to my red lead from the multimeter. And then I am going to just use the black lead to touch the B terminal down in there. So we don't have any resistance. If I touch the red lead, well, let's actually try. These alligator clips are a little bit, there's a little bit of corrosion on them because I was messing with other stuff. So I'm gonna try to do it with just the terminals, but essentially I think this crankshaft position sensor is good. So we're gonna do one more test here and then we'll continue testing across other, other areas. So we'll go stick with red on the far right. Just be careful not to drop this thing down. It can be a pain, mine's still bolted in so we're okay. So I'm touching directly to the C and now I wanna touch to the B terminal. And we're not getting any resistance if I touch the same terminal, we get resistance. We're testing across B and C. Nothing, no resistance. So this crankshaft position sensor is good. We're gonna move on to potentially maybe the coil, some other areas. We'll try those next. <laughs> 